Now biscuits are something that I prepare at least two or three days out of the week, especially on weekends because my mom comes over and stays with us and she loves biscuits and I love to spoil her. Now today I'm gonna show you how to make them step by step because you wanted to see it. Now you wanna make sure that all your ingredients are nice and cold as best as you can because that'll give you big, beautiful, fluffy biscuits. I usually like to put my buttermilk and my butter into the freezer like two or three minutes before I get started. Now we're gonna be using two cups of all-purpose flour. You put it in with a spoon or something like this, see? Because if you were to just go in and scoop it out, you could be getting out one and a half or one and a fourth cup, and that's too much flour. Then your biscuits will be dry. So I like to just put it in like this, and then just remove the top like this. So here's one cup, and I'll do the same with the second cup. Now I'm gonna put it right here into my bowl. Now right into this bowl, I'm gonna add my dry ingredients. I've got one tablespoon of baking powder. I've got two teaspoons of sugar. Now the sugar is just the perfect balance with these biscuits. You don't want it to just be salty, but just stay balanced in there, it's just right. And I've got three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt. Now it's important that you whisk it really well because if you just whisk it that much, then the baking powder still hasn't been distributed all around, and then your biscuits, some of them may get some baking powder and some of them may not. So you wanna make sure that you whisk it in together really good like this. And that's what we want. Now I'm ready to add my butter. Now as you can see, this butter is really cold. I had it in the freezer. I'm gonna be using six and a half tablespoons. And this is regular salted butter. And I'm gonna grate it into my bowl because this is the easiest way to do it. Now, after I add a little bit of the butter like that, I like to go in here with a spoon and I like to just toss it around. Otherwise, it'll get real clumpy again and it's like started again with a stick of butter. And then I continue going. Very easy. And you wanna work as fast as you can because you don't want your butter to melt. And give it another toss. And this is just the easiest way to do it so that you know that it'll be nice and crumbly. And I'm done with my butter, see? Now if you see some big clumps in here, you can go in there with your hand and just break them up because you want it to be nice and crumbly. And that's good, it's nice and cold in there. So I've got my buttermilk. I just got it out of the refrigerator and it's nice and cold. I'm gonna make a little well right in the middle and I'm gonna pour it in. And then I'm just gonna mix it in together. Now you don't want to over mix. Just get it wet as best as you can. Now there's gonna be some loose flour in there and that's okay, because it's gonna all come in together later on. And that's good. Now this leftover butter, I'm gonna set aside for later. That's what I'm gonna be brushing the biscuits with. So now that I've brought it together, I'm gonna to put it right here on my counter. I'm gonna put a little flour. Now you don't wanna overdo it with the flour. You want just enough that you can work with like this. Now I'm gonna dump everything right here. And that's good. You wanna use every bit. Now I'm going to dust my hands just a little bit with some flour like this and I'm gonna bring it in together. Now you look at all this and you say, oh no, that needs more buttermilk. But no, you don't. It's gonna be just fine. Now I'm gonna bring it in together like this and don't be afraid of it, but at the same time, don't overwork it. Now I'm gonna spread it out like a rectangle, like this. I like to push it down. Then I like to fold it over. These are gonna be your layers right here, see? Turn it over like this, bring everything back in, push it down, get a little flour if you need it. Now I'm gonna fold it over one more time. Now you wanna fold it over at least three to four times. I like to do it three times, but sometimes if you over fold it, five, six, seven times or so, thinking that it's better, a lot of air is gonna come in between the layers and they're gonna puff up and flop over. And you don't want them to flop over. Here's the third time. 
Now I'm folding it over the third time. So I'm done with my rectangle. Now if you're wondering what size of a rectangle you should make, you want to get your biscuit cutter and then just size it like this and that'll be perfect. You want your dough to be at least three-fourths of an inch thick. So I've got my cookie sheet right here and I put a piece of parchment paper. You never want to take a chance. So now I'm going to cut my biscuits. Now you don't want to go in and twist it, you just want to go straight down. That'll give you a nice straight cut. Here's another one. Now we're going to set it right here. Now you're going to want these a little close because then they've got nowhere else to go but up. And here's another. Now you've got all this dough right here. So I like to just put it together, push it down, just like that, and cut three more right here. Now I'm gonna put this dough together, give it a quick fold, and just repeat the process until you're all done. And here's my last one. So I was able to make 12. Now my oven is already preheated at 425 degrees. I'm gonna put it right a little bit above the center rack for 14 minutes and they'll be nice and golden. So I'll see you in a little bit. So I just got my biscuits out of the oven, 14 minutes. Come take a look. Now this butter is what's gonna give them that beautiful golden color. And then they'll be nice and soft. And I think that's good. These biscuits just drink up all the butter. Now you can enjoy these with cheese, some jelly, jam, anything you like, or just plain butter, or by themselves. Look at how pretty these are. Mmm. I'm gonna put a slice of cheese right here. Mmm, and enjoy it just like this. Now it's time for the taste test. Mmm. Mmm. They're nice and hot. I could eat these all by myself. So these are my wonderful buttermilk biscuits, homemade, because you wanted to see it. If you like my recipe, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Don't forget to share. Thank you.